12 years back, the Signal Analysis Research Lab or the SAR Lab was started by Dr. Sri Krishnan with the intention of developing solid signal processing tools. And within a decade of solid research work in biomedical and multimedia signal processing, the lab has established a strong foothold in the signal processing domain in Canada with the intention of developing intelligent technologies in entertainment, health and security. And all this has been done just with one objective, a better quality of life. The BTS Gate Lab allows us to record and analyze the movement of the human body, which we know as gait analysis. Gait analysis allows us to see everything that's happening inside the human body, such as kinetics, awareness and habit, to an individual's level of mobility, stability, flexibility, and functional strength. Running a full patient examination can be done in the lab within 30 minutes. A complete walk analysis can help a healthcare professional decide the most appropriate therapy, which can be orthopedic surgery, orthosis, prosthesis, or even some other form of therapy. Alongside the BTS gate lab system, we also have the Holter ECG, which is used on patients for long-term recording, up to 24 hours. Analyzing a patient's ECG, which stands for electrocardiography, allows us to find out if a patient is vulnerable to atrial fibrillation, ventricular fibrillation, sudden cardiac arrest, or analyzing T-wave alternates. With all the systems that I've mentioned, we also have bioradio, which allows us to measure EEG in a patient. This comes in twofold. We can measure uh, sleep disorders, such as sleep apnea, and also neurological diseases, such as Alzheimer's. Coupled with this, we also have a tremor analysis system which allows us to identify neuromuscular diseases such as Parkinson's disease and detection of falls in elderly patients. We're using an acoustic sound chamber to collect clean sound samples which we can then analyze and upload to the SAR cloud. Currently, we take these pure sounds and obtain acoustic features which act like descriptors to differentiate them from other sounds. The goal of this project is to identify when these specific sounds occur at given times in various environmental settings using the acoustic features we gathered. This is part of a growing field called audio scene analytics and effective computing in which we try to identify specific events that occur in the environment. EMG or electromyography is a technique used for measuring and recording the electrical signals produced by muscles. The technique is used specifically for muscles which assist with movement uh, or voluntary actions called skeletal muscles. The EMG probes used in this acquisition system uh, detect the electrical energy generated in a subject's muscle during movement and the data is saved to this computer where it can be viewed and later processed and analyzed with computer software. Uh, the signals collected with an EMG can be used alongside a motion capture system or other biomedical devices to detect medical abnormalities. As you've seen, we've done some superb work in biomedical signal processing and we hope to deliver better technologies in the future. Uh, our research facility is one of the few ones in uh, GTA or the Greater Toronto Area to feature a multi-model set of uh, biomedical data acquisition equipments. All I would like to say is uh, thanks for taking this tour and uh, we hope to see you soon at the SAR Lab. Cheers. <laughs>